I throw out perfectly good stuff because I just can't handle clutter. Especially things like kids' toys. I get so frustrated when the cupboards are all heaving with stuff and I can never get the countertops clear so I just start filling a garbage bag. If anyone notices their stuff missing I pretend I have no idea. I'm vocal about being anti-waste and not succumbing to rampant consumerism. So I'm a total hypocrite. Edit to add Yalla Wild. I can definitely pick out the people who have kids from the ones who don't. Because they get it. I'm not hunting around the house to find and toss out my toddler's prized stuffy. I'm not a monster. But if I've got 17 pieces of random mismatched Lego and a book with a broken spine sitting on my countertop for three months then I am going to sweep that shit into the bin. I could fix it. I could pack it away. I could donate it that's actually not a thing for most stuff. But that's a different conversation. But I don't. I get it out of my house. Legit. My husband asked where his half packet of roofing screws had gone. They were put on the middle of the dining room table a year before I tossed him out. And he didn't notice for at least a year after that. So I gave a shrug and a I don't know. Maybe donate it instead. That seems less hypocritical. ETA after seeing the edit. It's now clear that the items are not usually in condition to be donated. Imo. That was not the way it sounded at first I. 2. Throw away broken ruined items. At least confess to throwing out their shit when they look for it so they don't feel insane. Take the shit to a second hand store or goodwill. Kind of sucks if it not your things you're throwing away. That's cool you can do that to your stuff. Throwing away your kids stuff is not cool. They will remember that later. My dad did this. I remember him getting rid of the pancake griddle and everyone yelled at him. Rolling on the floor laughing to this day I am missing my childhood plushie and a diamond ring. I think he donated or trashed them. I wholeheartedly understand the hatred for clutter and the frustration that kids toys just seem to pile up out of nowhere. But it is really you petting and confusing for your kids to lose their toys without any idea where they are gone and lying to them about it will probably damage your relationship permanently. There are better ways to go about this. You could rotate toys for example. My wife is the same way. Anything she feels like is not useful gets thrown out. It's infuriating. We always did annual clean out of toys with our kids every year to keep things manageable. We donated them to Goodwill and or a local school. I've definitely been there. But having positive and constructive conversations is crucial for change. If you just keep throwing out stuff. They'll just replace it or even get mad. I mean, if you don't care about your environment or your kids' feelings, do it. I can't imagine how I would feel when my mom just threw my stuff away. Imagine coming home and your shit is gone. Do you respect your kids at all? Do you respect the earth at all? Everyone trying to be climate friendly today and you throw perfectly good things in the garbage. Kinda disgusting tbh. Mom. Bro my mom was like that and it's so fucking annoying losing stuff left and right. Just saying I went through a long period of not talking to my mum because she thought it was cool. To just throw my things away when she was overwhelmed with the house. You're not a hypocrite. You're destructively avoidant. Crucial conversations are good things. To this day my father is the same exact way as you. It's completely unfair and infuriating when someone else discards your belongings as trash. It is not up to you to decide what's important and what isn't. 
If it's really that big of a deal have everyone come get their things then come up with some type of cleaning chart or something. Children are messy. I am assuming you knew that before you had the first one. Pretending you don't know what happened to their things. That's shitty. Are you Marie Kondo? Your kids are gonna have a ton of realizations later on. Just a heads up. Your children will throw you out. And when people ask, they will have no idea either. Smile. Found my wife's Reddit. Hand it over we can bootleg stuff. I have the exact opposite problem. I save cardboard. Telling myself I am going to make something out of it and save everything I haven't used in years. Around. Got a little cat sass box made from my mom's endless Amazon purchases for her nervous little kitty. Now. After quite a while I made myself throw out a giant Spongebob costume I painted and used for. Visiting libraries or schools and stuff where little kids would be. It's a real problem haha. -ha. My former roommate did this daily. Girl take it to goodwill. The last part you added was proof for my family that this wasn't my secret post. That's some spicy mental illness. I get it. And I don't think it's a black and white on the kids stuff. If it's the cardboard toy they got in a happy meal that they haven't touched in six months. Yeah it's going to toy heaven. But what my wife and I try to do with bigger stuff is have the kids choose or okay stuff to throw out or donate. The main exception being baby equipment baby toys once they got to three years old we got pretty unilateral about anything we weren't sentimental about. It took me a long time to be okay with getting rid of stuff that was just taking up space in my life. I felt bad throwing things away. One thing that helped was realizing that anything that I never throw away will be thrown away. Anyway after my life is over. Someone will clean out my house. Maybe they will trash everything right away. Maybe some stuff will belong to someone else for a while. And then get trashed after that. From the moment an object is manufactured. Everything is destined for the trash sooner or later. I do this too. I call it purging. After a while I start to feel like I've accumulated too much junk and if I can honestly say I haven't touched it in six months or more. It needs to go. Always feel better afterwards. I donate to the local women's shelter for their thrift store and whatever I don't think they can sell or use goes to goodwill might start donating to salvation army instead of goodwill though stop buying so much open a university fund investment account put a free sign on a box with the stuff on the side if the road i can understand and do this too when i can't handle it anymore after so many times of asking others to keep their stuff in designated places and they still leave it wherever. It gets really infuriating. One thing that helped me was getting big baskets for each person and instead of throwing the things out, put the items into their respective baskets then you can take the entire basket away out of sight for them to put away later. You are the opposite of me. I keep junk in case it might come in handy one day or I might be able to upcycle, repurpose or sell. But I never do any of these things. Just bring the bag to a thrift store or Goodwill instead of the dump. I totally get it. But I would hope you look for avenues for donating or giving away for free instead.